making squeaky noises? Who are you making squeaky noises at? These are cats over the road. <laughs> You're squeaking at them. Go on, give them a squeak. Good morning. I've come to visit my friend today. I can't see her, I'm the only person at this train station. <laughs> so I didn't have much of a chance to film this morning because I had to run to catch a bus. I was on time, but I did forget a bunch of things. That's probably why I was on time. <laughs> I forgot a beautiful chocolate selection that I put together for me and my friend. And it was gonna be so good. Hi. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> I was like, is this the right spot? Because no one else got oh, off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like talking about so much. Really? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't have time to fill you in on what I actually had for breakfast this morning. I had one bit of toast with Vegemite on, with peanut butter on top. It might sound gross if you've never tried it, but it works. Um, and then I had a bundle of seaweed thins. There's some protein, there's some B12, there's iodine. You know, it's, it's weird, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the green on your door, by the way. Thank it's you. such a nice colour. A little day top as well. Have you got enough photos in that? I guess you've probably got enough, haven't you? Yeah, I've got quite a few. Just... I've not posted them yet because they're not in stock, so I don't want to tease oh, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting. I'm using my camera for a mirror. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's a mirror upstairs in the bathroom. I'm sorry, I think this looks okay. So we had taken some photographs of the black little doe t shirt. I don't have any photographs yet with this style on this t-shirt. I wonder if they're young. They are very green. I haven't seen ones like that for ages. Hi! Hey. Oh, this is rubbish, isn't there food? Oh, hey! Look, we're just joking, we've got food. My first time trying peppermint tea. Ooh. Hopefully I won't burn myself. Ooh. Ooh, no, it's just perfect. Ooh, it's really nice. It's it's just making me really excited for that peppermint chocolate. <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. I've been eating loads of minty chocolate lately, so my taste buds are prepped. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so warm and nice. Yeah, it's like warm in my innards mm -hmm. in ways that like tea doesn't normally I feel like it's that really gross way to describe it that's what i like about the ginger tea it's like a, a la another layer of warm on top of just the warm mm -hmm. tea yeah there's a few series of these that one's like not so bad <laughs> Rosie just made us the most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing lunch. <laughs> it was really tasty. There were so many veggies in there. Finished off with a minty chocolate. Now we're on our way to some charity shops. I'm looking specifically for brass vases, vases, whatever you prefer. Brass things to put some little flowers in. Weddingy things in general would be nice. Then I've got to catch a train and head home to grab a ginger butt. See how much it's Yeah. It'd be nice if they came in a set. Yeah, because I have seen some 
where they've actually got colour on them, but oh, okay. if I can, I think the plain brass looks a bit better. Kinchi, what are you doing up so late? Very late at night. A bit dark for you. I'll go cuddle my own ginger boy now, okay? Bye, Gingy. Hello, boy. Don't leave him. <laughs> Just stay with him. He's just leaving a doggo on his own. Yep. No. Hello, so I'm back at home now and I'm feeling all snuggly. I've got Alex's jumper out of the uh, out of storage. It's that time finally jumpers are coming out and being used. Mostly Alex's jumpers. He has more jumpers than me and I... Tucker's banging on the door wanting to come in. One second. Yes? What do you want to do? You want to come in? You're gonna regret that, because now I've got you. <gasps> now I've got you. Oh, you're my little prisoner. My little prisoner. <laughs> That's how he objects. Just a quick paw to the face. Quick paw to the face. To let you know I'm not pleased with what you're doing. Let's see how long I can get away with it. Oh, he's starting to melt. Okay, no, he wants to go. <laughs> There you go. I made myself some tea. This is the Heath and Heather Organic Soft and Sleepy Nighttime with Chamomile, Valerian and Hops Tea. There was a penny sale on in Holland and Barrett and I got this and the ginger one. Organic Supportive Root Remedy with Turmeric, Ginger and Gallon... Gallon Gal? <sighs> I've got Tucker hair up my nose. <laughs> it's really nice and like with the peppermint tea that I had earlier at Rosie's, it's nice this time of year to have like an extra layer of warmth. The drink is warm but then it's also a warming thing like peppermint or ginger. Little sheeps. You kind of either love or hate herbal teas and I, I used to drink them all the time then I went through a period of not drinking them at all. Um, and then when the penny sale was on in Holland and Barrett, I just thought I would get back into it because I do kind of miss them. I just fall out of the habit of making myself things I enjoy sometimes. But for dinner tonight, I don't have to do anything because I've got some leftover shepherd's pie from yesterday evening. I think actually I've already made a shepherd's pie in a what I ate video. I'll link that down below if that's true. I think it is. I can remember like vaguely a title off the top of my head involving shepherd's pie. This one I did make slightly different from the normal way I would do it. Usually I use lentils but we're trying a new diet for Alex and I'm just eating kind of the same thing as well because it's just easier. We're trying a low FODMAP diet Sorry, there's, I can just feel cat hair like all around my face. That's like his revenge for me cuddling him. <laughs> I just have cat hair up my nose for hours. Um, yeah, we're trying what is called a low FODMAP diet. Alex struggles really bad with IBS and it's been particularly bad lately. What are you eating? No, if you know anything about IBS, like it can be so vague what you mean by IBS, it's very different for different people, there's different trigger foods and things, different severity for different people. But for Alex at least recently it has been like really getting in the way of his life kind of bad and really getting him down. So we're trying a new kind of diet. I don't fully understand this diet, I need to do more research, but I did a little bit of research and this was just recommended as something to try. We're just, we're gonna give it a go. And lentils was one of the things on the list to avoid not to never eat, but to maybe have in small quantities. And I tend to put a lot in when I make my shepherd's pie. So instead I used the Noble Mints from Iceland. This was the first time we'd used it. Oh no, my battery's dying for God's sake. One thing I'll really quickly say, Rosie, this was the selection of chocolates that I made for us. And then I forgot to bring and I didn't have enough time before my bus to go back and get it. There's some vegan Smarties, some vegan honeycomb, some like little fudgy things and it's would have been very nice. I'm just gonna bite into the vegan honeycomb quick so you can see the middle of it.
Is Red Dead Redemption any good? Nah, it's rubbish. We would like to say thank you to our $30 patrons, wouldn't we? Yeah. I'm a bit of a greasy mess right now. I'll try and overlook that. I've been very busy driving myself insane with wedding things. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you to Emma, to Jessica, and to Jodie. Thank you, Maria, Nat, and Shania. And our new $30 patron, Lauren Erica. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate your support. Tucker, don't eat that bag. I've got to go. He's eating a bag. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye.